Uh, I started playing music at an early age. I grew up in a musical family. Uh, my first instrument was trombone when I was in fourth grade. You know how they just always kick everybody to concert band or orchestra or whatever. And I started playing trombone and I was not happy with that. But it did help me develop my ear, which was really cool. And then I started playing guitar when I was about 15 years old. And that was it. Once I started playing guitar, I realized this is what I want to do. It's something that I think has really helped me develop into a better human being because music to me is one of those universal languages where everyone just, I, I don't, I've never met a person that says, yeah, I don't like music. Like they might like different styles of music, but everyone likes music. You know, it's something that's always on in the background or you just want to put on the radio or something to help you soothe or uh, it brings back a memory, that sort of thing. So to me, it's just something I love and I, I will never give it up. And I grew up in New York, so I played in a few bands up there. I went to college for music. Uh, I have a degree in music therapy from ECU, um, my alma mater. And I've been playing here, so I, I moved down here in 1997, so it's 27 years I've been here. And I've met a lot of people, made a lot of great friends musically. I, w I just floated around. I had children, and I kind of took a break for a little while and raised them, but then I realized, you know, I still want to continue to play. And I never stopped, but I stopped gigging. So when I started gigging again, um, it really blew up because I've been doing that for a, a while now and I play almost every weekend here and there. And now I currently play solo stuff. I've studied lots of different religions and philosophies and um, ideologies and spirituality and I've always sort of gravitated back towards Buddhism. I don't know, I just feel like that is what makes the most sense to me in this complicated world. I had gone through a pretty rough time in my life about 10, 15 years ago, and uh, I was going through a divorce, and one of my buddies said, he was, he was in one of the bands I was in, he goes, you need to just put that, back, that Buddha stuff in your back pocket and just go for the jugular. And I was like, that would be a cool band name, like Back Pocket Buddha, because it just rolls off the tongue. So that's where it came from. Uh, and we kind of like stuck with that and the band never really worked out and, and everyone just started identifying me as Back Pocket Buddha so I just took it and as, a, as a brand. And uh, yeah, so that's what people call me. 